A cyber attack could have a serious ripple effect all the way to your wallet. Cyber criminals, uh, criminals force JBS, one of the world's largest meat processors, to shut down some of its locations, including its plant in Worthington. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily shares the potential impact of this pause in production. Workers were sent home at the JBS pork processing plant in Worthington on Tuesday, just one of more than a dozen plants shut down due to a cybersecurity attack. Brian Priestler is the CEO of Minnesota Pork Producers Association. If they're not processing, they can't then accept animals to come in. Priestler hopes the pause is temporary. The sooner they come back up, the, then the sooner we don't have these um, you know, interruptions, things get back to normal. The longer it goes, the greater the impact could be to the farmer, the plant, its workers, and the price passed on to consumers. The food supply chain felt it during the pandemic. Last year was really probably the lowest of lows um, for hog farmers. JBS Worthington had to euthanize 3,000 pigs in a day because of closures. Some farms exited the industry. Priestler says things have turned around and the hog business became profitable again. And so when you short the supply a little bit and then you've got demand, that's, that's really good. Um, that's why we've got good hog prices today. Consumers are paying more for the product. A pound of bacon in April of 2020 cost $5.35. It went up to $6.22 in 2021. A more narrow increase for pork chops. April of 2020 shows a pound was $3.67, up 17 cents a pound this year. And as we head into prime grilling season, Priestler thinks price and availability should stay consistent. If it can be ended here, you know, next few days, the impact is really minimal. Jennifer Mearley, WCCO 4 News. The Worthington JBS plant has announced the cancellation of some Wednesday shifts.